Do you want to make cool puddle reflection without having a puddle map? Then this video is for you. I'm going to show you how you can come from this to this. And it's so simple. First, I made some edits in Camera Raw. Basically, nothing special. You can do your own. You can use your own photo just to make it like uh, a little bit more the taste, looking like the taste I really want to have it. Let's duplicate this layer by Control J on your keyboard. Then what we're going to do, we're going to select like here, the bottom, the street. So I'm going to just choose the quick selection tool, just going around here. And I want to have these like gaps here also, not just have a straight line. So of course you can take your time to make that really proper. So I'm okay with that just for this video. Um, of course, it makes sense to keep an eye on that, on details. So what we're going to do, we're do, going to do a layer mask. Then we are going to remove the connection between layer mask and thumbnail between the photo. We go on the photo, control command T, and then we transform it and flip vertical. And then we're going to notch it that the background here, uh, we're going to just remove that middle part, middle point that that here the notch here in the middle is going to fit. So to have that gap below, I'm just going to make it a bit low, uh, bigger here. I'm just going to actually, yeah, it's like a little bit of fake, but that's fine. You can also fill it with generative fill, but I keep it like so. So I'm going to hit OK. And basically the reflection is done, but we only want the puzzles. So how are we going to do that? I create a new file. I go to File, New. And then I select 3000 to 3000 pixels at 300 dpi. It's a kind of peak. Later you will recognize that maybe this is kind of heavy for your GPU on your computer, but it also have an influence on your final uh, puddle. So maybe you have to figure out how big you want to have that. So on the top, we are fine with that background. Then we go to filter, render, and then I'm going to go with clouds. So I get that fancy stuff here. On top of that, I'm going to go and I'm going to add a levels adjustment layer and just put this a bit up here in the in the in the heights in I mean in the in the light. Then I add, a, add another one. I'm going to add like a, a curves. It's the same I'm doing here. Some really crazy stuff we are going to do. And now since I need to have the bit wide, even a bit bigger, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go and select whites that means i'm going to color range then i'm high here i have the highlights selected looks like that it's about fussiness for 54 and the range is about 170 what that makes it makes a selection and that was pretty wrong here because i don't want to have that here so i'm going to just re reload it with control and command on your keyboard and click on the on the masks i'm going to add a new layer and the selected i'm going to fill with white i'm holding alt or, or option on my keyboard and delete because white is my foreground color and i'm going to delete this layer mask because that i made by mistake that wrong on that layer mask so the puzzle actually your depth map control d to deselect looks like that what i'm going to do i'm going to do an stamp up control shift alt e or Command Shift Option E. So I just have nothing then then else than on a new layer. What I'm gonna do? Control A, Command A to select everything. Copy Control Command C to copy that. We come back later to this. So let's just keep it here. And we have a copy. And now what we need to do? We're gonna hide that. We go on this layer, and we're gonna add another layer, a blank layer. Then we go to Filter vanishing point and now here i have to select the the real vanishing point actually so i'm just looking for lines i can follow i'm gonna go with that one here because that is really really close really we would be visible so when it's blue everything is fine photoshop knows that everything is fine so you can go ahead i'm just gonna drag that down here until the end and also i'm gonna notch that a bit to the side and also to that side, you'll need to have this point selected and just drag it out. Here, I'm going to do that again. I'm just going to drag it here below and then you hit OK. And on that, so when you reopen it, filter, 
vanishing point, it's still here. Then you can paste in what you copied before when we have our vanishing point. I'm going to board control command V. So it pastes in what we selected before that our depth map. I'm just going to drag that down here. My vanishing point selection. I'm just going to notch it to the ground here. So it takes a bit of GPO, so be careful. So now I just want to have it a copy of it here. I can copy it in again with Control Command V, but I'm just gonna hold Alt or Option my keyboard and just drag it up and just to get a copy. Then I'm gonna notch it a bit uh, to the side so we have a little bit of change in the pattern, and I'm gonna do that again until I'm finished un until the end here. So I'm gonna notch this again and. Sometimes you can also scale it a bit. Probably I would scale it a bit so to be faster, because here in the back you won't even see how the big the, the the puddles are. So that's fine. And I need to zoom in a bit to get that done. I'm just calling Alt. It's a bit of a work here, so I'm gonna Control T just to scale that a bit. It's going to be faster. You can do it in the further steps to scale it, so it's going to speed that up a bit. So I'm hit OK. So basically, nothing else than this one on a new layer. On a layer below, we're going to add a black layer, a solid color. And we go to black, hit OK. So with that selected, we need to make a new a selection of the whites to create a puddle, to create that puddle on that. So what we're going to do, we're going to go to our channel panel. I click on the RGB with control command and click on the thumbnail. I make a selection of all the whites and I'm going to add a mask. I made that hill already, so it's alpha mask too, what we just did. Then I'm be careful when it's red, go back to the channel, select RGB. So then it's fine and so everything is fine. So we can hide those. And since we have our Control D to deselect also, if you want to see that. So we have this created reflection. We're going to put that in a, in a group. So we just have, we can make it a mask on it. Control Command J. Then it's in a group. Nothing else that that in a group. And now we go back to the channel. We control or command on, on our channel. We just selected our alpha 2. And then I go back to the group and just make a layer mask. Do you want to learn more or just learn how I work? Then check out my workshops. I'm going to share the link in the description. So here we go. And now what I'm going to change, I go into that. I'm just going to grab my brush tool and and just smooth out the edges here at, because I probably the water is not going, the puddle won't be at the side. So with black, I'm just going to paint that away on the mask so we don't have these uh, crazy water puddles at really at edge because water is going down to the to the street. So this is before and this is after. Check it out. And for all those who are lazy, they can come to this website, Graphic Crate, and create a paid account and download one of those.